What is going on, Giants fans? And I'm back at it with another New York Giants video. And this one, I'm going to be talking about, uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the New York Giants re-signing Leonard Williams for three years, $63 million, $21 million, uh, million dollars per year. I'm also going to be talking about the New York Giants signing wide receiver, not Kenny Galladay, but John Ross for one year and $2 million. I'm going to talk about both signings in this video. So if you guys are a Giants fan, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're an NFL fan in general, also subscribe because I'm pretty sure you still enjoy the videos as well, but just from a Giants fan perspective. And uh, so, yeah, let's get right into the signing. So Leonard Williams is back. I, you know, obviously, the New York Giants already uh, you know placed the franchise tag on Leonard Williams. So, you know, he was most likely going to come back to the Giants, but, it was, you know, it was, it was up in the air if the Giants were going to trade him or, you know, they were going to you know, trade him for draft picks, trade him for, you know, possibly, you know, players, maybe not draft picks, but players, and uh, that was, you know, that was a big question, and Leonard Williams was asking for a lot of money that, you know, the Giants really didn't think he was worth, but it turns out they think he was worth it, as Leonard Williams is back, he's getting $21 million per year, now I know a lot of Giants fans are calling this an overpay, but you look at the year Leonard Williams had, he had, what, 10 and a half sacks last year, had a phenomenal year, he was one of our best defensive players, I say in every video, uh, he was an absolute freak of nature for the Giants last season. I think this is a really good signing. I think he was the best defensive player in free agency, and the New York Giants now have him in Giants blue for the next three years and possibly for the rest of his career if we decide to extend him uh, after the contract is over. And the New York Giants also have, you know, some more, you know, they have some more flexibility because there was a cap hit. There was a cap hit. It was originally at $19 million. Now it's at $11 million. So, that, again, the Giants have some now some more cap space to go out and possibly make another move for maybe a guy like Hassan Reddick, possibly Kenny Galladay. It's still, you know, it's still up in the air. You know, if Kenny Galladay, it, it, it depends on how much Kenny Galladay is going to cost. But, you know, possibly Kenny Galladay, maybe a guy like Hassan Reddick, maybe a guy like Juju Smith-Schuster is a guy. You know, maybe want to go after, like, offensive line. Maybe want to go after maybe even a backup quarterback. I don't know what the Giants are planning to do for the rest of the offseason, but I'm pretty sure the Giants are going to make more moves uh, in the next, you know, in the next upcoming days because the Giants made two moves today. They also added a fullback. I don't, I can't really remember his name, but they added a fullback uh, as well today. So the Giants have made a lot of moves today. So that's always good to see. As a lot of Giants fans were ripping Dave Gettleman on Twitter. I know a lot of Giants fans don't like Dave Gettleman, but I got to give Dave Gettleman credit. He did a really good job today. He got Leonard Williams, you know, for three years, uh, sixty, you know, sixty-three million dollars. Now I know a lot of people like to say it's an overpay, but again, this guy's really good and. When he steps up, you know, when he steps out onto the field, he's going to prove he was worth that money. I think he definitely was worth that money. I think this, is, this kind of reminds me of the DJ LeMahieu signing now. DJ is 32 years old. Leonard Williams is a lot younger than 32, but this kind of reminds me of the DJ LeMahieu signing. DJ LeMahieu was the most important player on the Yankees for the past two seasons. The Giants need a guy who can sack the quarterback. And they have that with Leonard Williams now for the next three seasons and possibly for a lot longer. And I'm so happy that Leonard Williams is back and that this whole dilemma, you know, regarding Leonard Williams asking for a boatload of money is finally over. He is with the Giants for the next three seasons, and the Giants have given 60, give him $63 million, and he will receive $21 million per year. And now the Giants have more flexibility to go out and make another move for another player. So now let's get into the John Ross signing. Now, this isn't this is this is a signing, you know, I see this more as depth. Uh, I, I kind of see this as, you know, kind of like the Devontae Booker signing from yesterday. I think he's going to be a fourth string wide receiver. I don't think he's going to be a starter. I really don't. I think the Giants are going to make another move for a receiver, whether it's in the draft or in free agency. Hopefully it's Kenny Galladay, but yeah, that's doesn't look like it's going to happen, but hopefully, uh, maybe the Giants can steal him, you know, from a team like the Dolphins, who looks like the, it looks like the Dolphins are, are, you know, a candidate that very well could sign Kenny Galladay, because I think they're a perfect fit for him, and there's many, plenty other teams out there that very well could sign Kenny Galladay, but maybe the Giants find a way to sign him. It's unlikely, but it's still possible. You never know. But uh, I think uh, John Ross is going to be a fourth outfielder. He's a speedy guy. He can, you know, he can, you know, move around in special teams. He can be a guy that can, you know, return kicks. Uh, he's really fast. I think he ran like a, I don't know, his kind, his combine was like crazy fast. And he runs really fast. And he's one of the fastest wide receivers in the league. Well, he was the, uh, I think he was, what, a first round ninth, I think ninth overall selection by the Bengals, and he did not pan out. He was a bust. He was flat out a bust. But, again, it's a $2 million contract. I can't get too mad at this. He has high upside, and again, the guy can run. He can fly across the field, and he could be a very good guy. He, he can be kind of like a lethal weapon, you know, off a of special team for the Giants. I really like this move for the Giants. It's a good depth piece, and I'm a big fan of it. So I want to know your thoughts on the Leonard Williams signings and the John Ross signings down in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. 
and it looks like the Giants are going to make some more moves in the next few days. I'm going to have a video on it whenever it happens. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys updated as best as I can on, you know, what's going on with the team and uh, talk about free agency and all that. So, uh, yeah, guys, Kenny Galladay's rumors, they're swirling around right now on social media. Uh, I don't know where he's going to sign right now. I don't think it's going to be the Giants. I really don't think so. I think the Giants signing Leonard Williams, I think that kind of, you know, it's kind of the tip of the iceberg for the Kenny Galladay rumors. I really don't see him signing here, and I think it's starting to become, like, maybe like a 10 to 20% chance that he signs here. I really don't see it happening now because I think the Giants are probably going to go out and make another move for a, you know, a smaller kind of player, not a guy that's going to cost a whole lot, like a Hassan Reddick, as, you know, as an example. Not, not like, you know, I'm not saying that they're going to sign Hassan Reddick, but a guy like him, I think they're going to make a move for a guy that's not going to cost as much as a guy like Kenny Galladay is because he's probably the best free agent on the market right now. So I really don't see the Giants going out and making a, a you know, a, I don't really, I don't really see the Giants signing Kenny Galladay anymore. So I think the Giants will probably make another move in the next few days, but I really don't see it being Kenny Galladay. So that might suck for Giants fans, but we got a receiver who can really run and can be a weapon out of special teams. So I can't complain about this. You know, I can't, I can't complain about the John Ross signing, even though he's been a bust in the NFL. And I really do like the Leonard Williams signing. I'm so happy he's back. And I'm pretty sure he is too, because I feel like he loves being a Giant. And I feel like, I really hope that all the Giants players love being a Giant because. We've had Giants players in the past that I feel like haven't really felt that way. So, Landon Collins, for example, Odell Beckham, for example, they didn't really. I'm pretty sure, you know, near the end of their career, you know, careers with the Giants, I'm pretty sure they wanted out of New Jersey because the Giants were a dysfunctional organization back then. But now the Giants are a. They're run by a good head coach. They're run by a good GM, in my opinion. And uh, I think the Giants are going to improve this team in the next few days. And I'm really excited about it. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to know your thoughts on these signings down in the comments below, especially the Leonard Williams signing. I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you think they overpaid? Do you think they, you know, paid him the right amount of money? I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys next time. Go Giants.